big changes are coming to YouTube TV. In a blog post, YouTube's chief product officer dropped clues about a redesign that is coming in 2022. It includes updates to the library and the live guide and features that will give YouTube TV subscribers more control over how they organize and watch content. Michael here, and these changes can't come soon enough. For some of the people who've watched my YouTube TV reviews and have left comments about the features they want to see added, the two primary goals of this redesign are more control over organization and smart personalization. So in our video today, I'm going to go over the changes that I would like to see, and I hope you'll leave a comment down below too. Who knows? Maybe someone from YouTube TV will be watching this video. So why don't we start with the library, which is your cloud DVR? As you probably know, YouTube TV has unlimited cloud DVR storage. When you add something to the library, for example, House Hunters, all episodes are recorded and saved for up to nine months. But one frustration people have is they can't record a single episode in a series like this one. And because the DVR is all or nothing, it can make the library seem pretty cluttered. In this example, there are more than 200 seasons of House Hunters. Watch now as I flip over to DirecTV Stream. With its DVR, you can choose to record a single episode or the entire series, so you actually have more control. Another change that I would like to see to the library is the ability to mark shows as watched from a TV set. If you've watched my videos, you know this is available from a web browser or a mobile device. But if YouTube TV's goal is to give you more control, adding the ability to mark as watched from a TV set would be a step forward. And even better would be letting users delete individual recordings. YouTube TV's library has a mix of DVR and on-demand recordings. You'll see some shows have the option to choose a version. If it's in your DVR, you can skip the ads, of course, but not so with on-demand. Now that on-demand content is great if you forget to set your DVR, but some people don't want to sit through the ads under any circumstances. So could YouTube TV add a filter to show only DVR content? Just a thought. YouTube TV's DVR has filters like new in your library, most watched, and scheduled. But what I'd like to see is something like a My List feature, basically a place where people can organize DVR recordings by priority the ones they want to watch first. Let's move on to the live guide. And YouTube TV has done a pretty good job of helping you organize its list of 85 plus channels using these handful of channel filters. But personalization could be improved. And that does seem to be the goal of the redesign. The first live guide change that I'd like to see is related to these filters. Right now with YouTube TV, you need to remove and reorder channels from either a mobile device or web browser. But other services let you create that personal favorites list right from your TV set. A couple other requests that I hear a lot about, YouTube TV's live guide doesn't highlight when episodes are new. Hulu Live is shown on your screen right now and you can see there is a banner that says new. Back to YouTube TV. And as I scroll through the live guide, do you see what's missing? descriptions for content airing right now. For shows coming up, you can see a description when you click on it. Compare that to DirecTV Stream. The show description is at the top of the guide, and this is a great user experience. Now this is minor, but I've received multiple comments about it. Look in the right corner of the YouTube TV Live Guide. It's counting up to the top of the hour, but there is no actual clock, something else that you'll find with other services. Another change that would make users happy is the ability to jump today in the live guide rather than just scrolling to the right. For starters, it would make scheduling recordings a whole lot easier. And while we're on that topic, I do like how Sling TV's updated guide gives you the option to set a recording right from the live guide, something to think about, a change that would save YouTube TV users a click or two. I've spent this video talking about changes to YouTube TV on a TV set but let's hope that there are changes in store for the web browser and mobile app as well. Take a look, this is just one example. The live guide on mobile is pretty bare bones compared to the TV version. But speaking of the mobile app, I can tell you that picture in picture is coming to iOS. Good news for iPhone users, this feature is already available for Android. That's what I've got, now it's your turn. Let me know down below in the comments the changes that you'd like to see to YouTube TV's library and live guide. See you next time.